Good morning, A-Bird Freedom Fam. So here we are. It's been a little while since I've had a pistol that excites me, like my CZP-10C. I do obviously like the Beretta 92 series, but can a legend get better? Well, I think so. So my new to me, ba bam Beretta M9 A4, 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 awesome. All right, enough shenanigans. I can sit here and I can ramble off to you weights and lengths and measurements and magazine capacity and all this stuff. I'll go ahead and put that in the video description. Let's not waste my time or your time. Well, let's talk about things that I like about the pistol. Hmm. First and foremost, let's go ahead and remove that source of feed. Watch the slide to the rear. Visually and physically inspect bolt face, chamber, magazine well. Let's go ahead and decock. Oh, decock. What's that going to do? Well, when the hammer's to the rear, the pistol is in single action. Nice, short, easy trigger pull. But when you first put that round in the chamber and then you decock and you go back to your holster, you now have the dreaded long double action pull. Um, it kicked my ass today. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while. That first pull, if you're watching the hammer, which you wouldn't be if you're looking at the sights. This is for instructional purposes only. Some of you will get that. As you're pulling the trigger to the rear, you are manually pushing the hammer back on the hammer strut, and you're depressing the mainspring so that it can go ahead and it can fire the round by releasing the hammer with spring tension. And eventually, as I sit here and I creep it back, it's eventually going to drop the hammer. And there it is. Okay, but now the hammer's down. Well, yeah, but the slide would have reciprocated. Big word toilet paper again. Now the slide is to the rear. Now you're back to your single action, nice, easy pull. I like it, but enough about why I like it. No, let's dive on into it again. I like the fact that unlike Glock, the pistol is aesthetically pleasing. It's in coyote or flat dark earth. Colors are very complementary to each other. They are a couple of different shades, but they're much closer than the Glock 19X. The M9A4 also offers you the threaded barrel. Sights are a little bit different than the regular 92FS. They are a bit smaller. Hopefully you can see that. But some other changes have happened. And this these are a couple of changes that I actually do like. Unlike the regular 92FS, You've got your Picatinny rail section underneath, in the front, on the frame. Also, grip angle is a little bit different. Grip size is a little bit different. It's uh, straighter. I do like it. I did suck with it today. I'm not going to lie. Not everybody's perfect. I do like the fact that they also give you a shelf at the bottom of the grip. Um, otherwise, everything manual of arms, samey same. And for those of us that know what this next term is, lanyard, what? A lanyard loop? Why would you need a lanyard loop? Well, maybe you want to dummy cord your pistol to your kit, or you have one of those retractable lanyards. I haven't tried one of those yet. I want to try one, but the Beretta 92 series in itself is legendary, so we don't really need to sit here and beat over it all day long. Decocker, finally. It's a great pistol. I wanted to review it now that I own one. And that's just a little bit about the pistol without going into a bunch of boring specs. Oh my god, the pistol weighs six point whatever. Who gives a shit? Does it feel good? Does it shoot good? Is it reliable? And can you shoot it? Enough of that. Let's go to the range, ring some steel, and then we'll talk about Ridgepoint Armory ammunition. Stay tuned, like, comment, follow, subscribe. Let's get out there. Let's get the Abert Freedom Fam out there on the range getting better. Without further ado, let's cut to the range and we're going to be done with this. Everybody, stay safe. Alrighty, we're out here on the range. We talked about the M9A4 Beretta. Affectionately known to me as of adoption yesterday as Susie Von Flanden Floozy. Why? She's a whore. She gets around. But we talked about it in the shop. I showed it in the shop. 
Now, ha, ah, look, it's right there. Yes, yes. We went tactical today. Went ahead with our uh, high-speed multi-cam pants and our drop leg platform Safari Land ALS. Woo! With pretension. And now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chuck some 147 grain, 9 mil, out of the new to me Beretta M9A4. We're going to throw that downrange at Petey. I'm going to go ahead and show my ass. Why? Because, well, not everybody hits everything all the time. So, let's wrap this up. Let's get some rounds downrange. Go ahead, like, follow, comment, subscribe. Do what you want to do. It's America. Big thanks to Ridgepoint Armory here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona for providing 9 mil for today's video review on the Beretta M9A4, new to me, rescue yesterday. Couldn't let her go to the pound and risk euthanization, so I went ahead and swooped her up. But now, big announcement, Ridgepoint Armory is bringing in 147 grain 9 mil in bulk, Abert Freedom Support, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Get it and be ready. That's it.